Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 1 on 1. So today we have some free models uh, that uh, you can download on my Blender Everything website. So I'm doing this uh, at least every week uh, because I have a ton of models in my library that I'm not selling and uh, they're just sitting there in my library uh, because putting them up for sale on my uh, marketplace it's just too much work and uh, just deciding to give them away. Uh, here's some of them, but uh, if you go to uh, the website, uh, you can go to the free models section and uh, basically you can see all the new models I'm, I'm adding there. You can also bookmark uh, the page if you want to easily access it. Control D is the option, so you can just bookmark the page here so that it appears uh, somewhere. So you can just click on it every time and uh, just access uh, this page. I'll be yeah, free, you no know, signups, no what. Uh, these are some of the models uh, that are there. You can just go to the download free models and it should take you to the Google Drive uh, where you have the blend file and uh, the render images of the of what you're getting. Uh, let me just show you quickly what the models look like in Blender. Drag uh, the first one. Here's some Apple earbuds. You can see, look at the wireframe. Well made. Have the Apple Pro, well detailed, well textured. I think it's, a, it's an amazing model. Uh, we have the beats, have the peel. Have a mic. This is actually the mic I'm using to record uh, this video with. It's a Blue Yeti microphone. All textured and everything. Yeah, I think this is also good for you to just look at how I do my stuff, uh, the different way I handle uh, the polygons and uh, stuff like that. This is a Captain America shield with some scratches. Yeah, you can look at the materials. And uh, if you have the asset library add-on, uh, which you can get in the description, uh, I would uh, just get some of these materials because uh, they're, they're nicely done, I think. Uh, you can just uh, add them to your own library. So this is the asset library. You can give it a render. I'm selecting this red material here. Give it a render. And, uh, just save it. And let's see. Uh, the bare metal. Give it a render. So you can add that to your library and uh, reuse it. Even the model itself, uh, let me just add that, add the model. Let me call it shield, give it a render and uh, just add it to the library. So next time you can just reuse it. This is a quick plug for my add-on and uh, let me just search shield. Uh, we already had it in the library, but uh, yeah, just add it twice. Easily usable. Let's see. I don't remember the metal I call how I called uh, the metal. Um, I think it's this. Yeah, yeah, it's this because uh, I can tell from the layout of it's bare metal. Yeah, this is the actual metal. Uh, yeah, so. It's, uh, you can add the objects to your library quite easily if you have the asset library. I'm going to leave a link in the description for anyone who might want to get this. Because uh, I think it's much faster to, than uh, using the asset browser. Uh, it's much easier to use, at least for me. I also have these ice cubes. Again, if you have the asset library, you can easily add those materials. Let me see, how did I call this? Let me call this ice cube material give it a quick render you can even choose where you want to add this let me just create a new folder because i might also want to reuse this because i i never added this in my own library libraries let me call this uh random items okay create a new library so now i have a random items library add that to that uh, let me also add the actual because this was uh, just the material let me add the uh, let me add the actual ice cube let me rename it here ice cube give it a quick render save okay now just create a new project 
the asset library and just navigate to that random items collection or library and you can see we have the ice cube ready to add okay yeah and there we can even add check the material perfect so like that yeah have this latte and i think this is a cycles project yeah just a, a cap with a okay this this was a, i think a procedure material yep this was a procedure material actually forgot about this i think it came out looking quite good you can see there are no images this so you can go in and start examining how i set up this yeah so i guess this would be the gradient uh, the, the mask uh. interesting how i did this because i th yeah, nice 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 you can examine these projects uh, this is one of the reasons why i give this projects out uh, so that you can have a look at them and uh, see how uh, it really come out nice, nicely i think yeah so there is that there is also this mango project i think i also used procedure i want to yeah procedure textures credit procedure textures for the mango you can see quick breakdown some noise larger noise yes have this gradient here mixed up some details until we get the mango perfect again you can look at that examine it and uh, yeah uh i also have some simple really simple models here so like i said i'll be updating uh, the site with more models thank you see you in the next video